How are you Ursa Boy fans? It's me, Ursa Boy, and I'm back with another pop-in video for y'all, alright? So today, we got some big things coming. We're back with another customization video, another thing we're recycling. We got a bunch of stuff from the thrifts, and we're gonna make some art out of them. Last time, we did some tie-dye, it came out great, I mean, at least in my opinion. And you know what, some, we're, some of the items we're gonna do today are actually from that video too. But today, as you see in the title, we are painting clothes, custom make, making custom painted clothes. That's right, we have the fabric paint right here. Um, I'll get you all through the whole supplies, the setup and everything, but I just wanna show y'all like a couple shirts I did way, uh, back in the day, like not really back in the day, a couple months ago or stuff that I worked on. And I haven't really done it since, but I have a bunch of shirts just like saved up like I did for Ty. I've just been saving up to make some art out of, you know, so. We're just gonna do it. And this is the uh, first one I made is a van shirt. Um, I just drew this uh, skateboard just in Sharpie. And then this I painted, I uh, painted the fire. Um, I mean, it kind of, I think it came out pretty cool, you know? It's a pretty cool shirt. It, I mean, it matches the colorway. I mean, I added red, but like, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then on the back, I just had this like scary guy and then I drew the, he's wearing the vans, you know? There you go. So I think that those are pretty chill, you know? But then I have this one too. And it's a, it's a vintage um, Go Vertical Johnson Space Center. So like space, you know? So I was like, well, I'll do some alien stuff. And so I drew an alien. It's not really complete. Like I was gonna do more, but you know, whatever. I just haven't touched it. And then you have the UFO. I really like how like the sparkling came out right here. Um, and then on the back, I just wrote alien, and you have the alien in the rocket ship, and then you have the moon in the corner, and it says, me and the moon relate, cause shout out Uzi. And you have the, like, the eternal take key right there. You got the alien, you got the rocket ship, and you got the alien. Uh, but anyway, so that's just a couple of me uh, back in the day, but we're gonna hopefully make some even cooler ones. So let's just uh, get to it. I'm gonna show you the setup. All right, so the setup for this is actually pretty simple. This is the next shirt we're gonna work on. This is a vintage Wrangler uh, camo shirt, and I'm, I have an idea for this. But basically you wanna stick some cardboard under so that your hole where you're gonna paint is covered in the in the middle. And then you, I'm gonna put some more cardboard on, on the bottom just so that you know you don't get it all over. I mean, if you're working outside, that's fine, but I mean, I mean I'm working on my bed, so yeah, I don't wanna get everywhere. And then, uh, just a water cup from today's sponsor, G. Just kidding. Uh, one day, one day. But um, so yeah, using a water cup uh, to rinse your brushes. It's just some brushes, and then you want some fabric paint, of course. Um, needs to be fabric paint, or I mean, I mean, you could use other kind of paint, but I don't know. You might ruin your shirts. But um, these should you should be able to wash your clothes, wear it, and it'll be just fine. Um, it should be good. Uh, I got those at Walmart for like just like 10 bucks and then so yeah and then I use this like folder um, to put my paint on and then you just go to work so I'm gonna I'm just show you all the process from from now on so the plan for this shirt was to do a Yeezy spell out kind of like the Yeezy shirts um, or the logo um, but I wanted to do Yeezy and so I kind of lined it out, like I practiced on the paper, um, lined it up and then just kind of went for it. I tried to use the white Sharpie, but it wasn't showing up. So I just used like a, just a normal marker. Um, it should be fine and then I'll just paint over it. Uh, I think it came out fine. This one kind of got messed up a bit, but I'll, I should be able to fix it when I just paint it. But yeah, I, I think it'll come out really sick with like the bright orange against the camo. It'll, it'll look beautiful for the Yeezy. So hell yeah. Okay, I painted it in. I did a few coats and I think it came out pretty cool. I like how the the Y's came out it a lot better than the first just trial um, thing I did with the marker. I'm still gonna like let it dry again and probably do some more layers just cause you know this, uh, it's a heavy cotton and also uh, dark color. So it's gonna be harder to uh, make the orange stand out, but it's getting there and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I might add something to the back, but for now I'm just gonna let it dry and move on to the next shirt. Okay, so we did Kanye, but now it's time for another one of my favorite artists, Travis Scott. When I saw this shirt, I knew it would be perfect to do a Travis thing. You got the cactus, 
the you know the you just got the whole vibe you know you know what i'm talking about right here we're gonna do something i think i'm gonna expand expand with the cactus thing and write out travis or travis scott you know whatever and maybe do something on the back too but so let's go let's go to another banger <laughs> detail there you go now it's a real cactus hell yeah and i'm gonna add something to the back but i need to let the front dry i'm gonna um, touch up this one again and then we're gonna move on to another shirt and here's the back not gonna lie came out pretty darn good it's gonna be there you go it's a complete piece uh, i'm probably still gonna need to add more layers to this it's coming there but we need to get this bright baby but um Let's move on to the next shirt. But check it out. Let's go. Okay, so we've done Travis and Kanye. Uh, two of my favorite people. Two rappers. My third, not my top three favorite people. I mean, one of my favorites. Um, the Undertaker. <laughs> I actually have him right here. The Undertaker. We're going to be doing a shirt for him. He just retired officially. Got to do a tribute. Um, I really hope the shirt fits. Um, I'm kind of worried it's going to shrink, but um, yeah, I'm going to do The Undertaker. All right. Okay, it's been a while, but here's an update on how it's looking. Um, this was totally unplanned. I thought like the purple would just go on, you know, I don't know, stand out like how the green does over there or how the orange does, whatever, but it really didn't show up on the black. I guess it makes sense, but uh, on here, just underneath where I was using the purple, there was like a bit of red left over that I'd used like another time and it just started coming through. And then I was like, well, that looks really cool. So I should just go with that. And I just went with it. And so now here we are. Um, you got this like purple reddish. I don't know. It, I don't know if it looks better in person on camera, but I think it looks really cool. And then I'm going to put his uh, logo right here um, and then put something on the back and then that'll be a shirt. So I added the logo, it's looking pretty good. I like how the purple is just kind of on the edges. Um, this I touched up once again, I went all the way through with the purple, a bit of red. And again, the purple just barely shows up, but I'm still liking how it looks. Uh, and then I'm gonna put something on the back. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, get onto another shirt. All right, so I had planned to paint these two. And then I kind of realized, or I wanted to do like the Ursa Boy logo, which is really the Kanye bear, you know. Um, same same thing. I think Kanye kind of stole it from me, you know. I, I've been, Ursa Boy's been around for like way longer than, you know, graduation. Like, psh. But anyways, um, it would take so long and like so much effort to like paint that tiny little thing. So I was like, you know, what? I'll, I'll just do it with the pen. Um, and you know what? It came out fine because like... All the colors that are like in it in the logo besides brown are like all around the shoe so they're kind of just like it's a cool look you know i was gonna write uh ursa or something but you know i just put the bears all over it and i think it's cool so y'all have seen the complete customization of these uh i mean maybe i'll add more next episode whatever i don't know but for now i think these are pretty cool you know one day i'll have to give these away at like a thousand subscribers or something okay all right take my word on that all right ursa boy fans it has been many hours since i started this whole project or video you know this um art i've been creating you know uh forgot how long painting really takes but just a final recap out of these two that i made you know a while ago but i showed y'all earlier but boom um i've made these shoes well i didn't make them now but i Put some bears on them. Ursa bears. Oh yeah. Well that just means bear bear, but 
check it out. I think this Travis one came out so perfect. Like, just look at that. Like, it just looks beautiful. Like, I'm very proud of this, honestly. And the logo on the back, too. Like, it looks so good. Oh, my God. Just be ready for this on my eBay very soon, you know. Just hit me up. Just hit me up, you know. And then we have the Kanye. We have the Yeezy. I went over it again and again and again. And, you know, I think it's looking pretty good. It's pretty pretty good um it's subtle um i was thinking about adding like um west on the back you know kanye west and it's wrangler it's western so might as well um but yeah i mean we might like touch up well i don't know about touching up these but like doing more because i was planning on doing like some with the tie-dye but it's just psh, taking forever but you know so then we got the undertaker and yeah i finished this one up it's so subtle and I, I just like it, you know, that just adds, you know, the mysterious, the dead man, you know, uh, you got the R.I.P. on the back. Um, he's not dead, just by the way, if you don't know him, um, but he is the dead man and he will forever R.I.P. because he's a legend. He's my favorite. Um, and you got the logo. It's looking very good. So all in all, it was a very huge success. I'm um, definitely going to do some more customs. I have mini shoes, some, a bunch of Air Forces, some other um, Nikes that I want to customize, doing some shoes. And we'll work on that soon, but this is the end of my custom shirt uh, painting. So thank you for watching. Uh, or actually, after you do this, if you want to try it, you just need to let them sit and dry for like two days or so, so that the paint really doesn't like mess up. And then you can wash them. You can wear them. You're fine. All right, so... Um, Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Ursa Boy out. Peace.